Hi, this is Shelly Sparks. I'm here uh, in California looking at trees today. And uh, I'd like to give you some information, things to look for, for uh, the health of your trees. Um, and I'm, I'm looking at a bunch of birch trees in a neighbor's yard. And um, you can see that some of those trees um, are uh, have leafed out and others of them are only semi-leafed or not very well leafed out and and this could be an advanced sign of some uh, illness in the tree so this kind of a tree you'd want to over watch over time to make sure that it isn't diseased if if um, you know in this case it's got a there's a grove of birches in the front yard and if one tree becomes diseased uh, it could transmit that disease to the other trees so you really want to keep your eye out uh, when you see things like that with trees um, the other thing I just kind of want to show you uh, this this uh, magnolia here um, it as you can see it's it's defoliated somewhat. It's got these, um, uh, what, what's called branch dieback. Uh, at the end, at the tips of the tree, a lot of the branches have um, died back. And um, so I'm looking for uh, other signs of disease with this tree. Uh, see, I'm not really sure whether this tree has, uh, has has branch dieback because um, of the drought from last year and that it just dropped leaves as a defense mechanism um, to the um, to the uh, uh, being watered a lot less or whether this has uh, some kind of a disease um, in this area we've we've had in this particular property we've had some oak root fungus and it does affect southern magnolias um, with the um, with uh, uh, it can infect these trees um, with disease so um, walking around and looking at the um, at the trunk I don't see any uh, signs that there is um, that there is a problem. Uh, normally, um, we would, if it was uh, oak root fungus, um, I would probably see some mushrooms um, springing up around the bottom here. Or uh, if there was a canker, um, some other kind of infestation, I probably would see dark spots and stains on the, um, on the trunk. So I'm not seeing that either. So this is a tree that I'm going to keep an eye on. Um, I'm going to watch to see whether uh, there are any issues coming up in the future. And in the meantime, we're going to pr uh, probably prune it back a little bit to remove the, uh, the dead branches and give it um, some more opportunity to, uh, to refoliate itself. This is Shelly Sparks. If you'd like more information about landscape design or the health of trees, check out my website, www.harmonygardens.net or my YouTube channel, Shelly Sparks. This is Shelly Sparks again. Thanks for listening.